Hi, I'm Eric Naso. I wanted to share something with DaVinci Resolve 14. This is beta 5 version. I wanted to get a voiceover in here. Now, this is a beta version, so I didn't expect it to be fully functional because it's a beta version, right? But it does have a fair light, which is a really cool feature for audio editing. I mean, it's super powerful. I'm not very familiar with it, so I was trying to figure out how can I get a voiceover in here. And basically, it's doable. I was reading on, online, and you know, there's not a whole lot of information on how to get this to work. So I kind of just was, you know, poking around and trying to figure it out. So basically, my project here, this is just me doing a review, sort of kind of how to fix these earbuds or these uh, headphones. Uh, and I'm doing this in, in Resolve 14 because it's an easy edit. And I wanted to get more experience with the software. So this is how you get VO or voiceovers in uh, Fairlight. And basically what I decided to do was over here, I started a new audio track. I added a new audio track. And this audio track now is just gonna be for my voiceover. Uh, I already did a few here. You can see I did three and, and they turned out pretty good. I'm not complaining. As you can see on these Sony earpods, the coating is all gone. All that's left is the foam cover. So what's nice is I'm, I'm getting a little bit of playback over here in the corner so I can kind of see, well, what I'm voicing over. So I'm kind of doing a live voiceover to video. It doesn't play back all that smooth here, but it, it, it gets me close. So I'm trying this kind of technique. Now, one thing I did notice was when you're playing back, you get audio. You can see what's going on. But when you're recording, you don't. So let's go ahead and show you how to set this up because this is a little bit confusing. I'm going to show you a couple different ways to set this up. First one, you can go into Fairlight. Go to Patch Input Output. And here is where I have my audio source. Now, I have a uh, Scarlett 2i2. It's a USB interface. So I'm going to select two and then I want to send it to audio track two and now the patch light comes on and that's it. You basically hit patch and now they're kind of highlighted a little darker and that's it. Now you have audio set up to patch for your input. So I have it set here on audio two. This is just for vo voiceover. That's what I'm going to do. Now one thing is kind of a bummer is you don't get any feedback on your levels. You're going to have to kind of make sure you have good levels. And it doesn't give you any feedback when you're recording. This is probably a bug and will be fixed after it goes to the full version. So what you want to do here now is click on the R. R means record. So this track is now active. And then it's super simple. Now again, you're not going to get any feedback about your audio levels. So just make sure they're spot on. Then over here, you click the record button. And now you're going to see the red indicator showing you that you're recording audio, which is exactly what I'm doing right now. So I'm recording my audio that's going directly into Fairlight in DaVinci Resolve 14 Beta 5. And once you're done recording, then you just hit stop. And there it is. And I'll play that back. And that's it. And now you're going to see the red indicator showing you that you're recording audio, which is exactly what I'm doing right now. Now you get your audio levels after you've recorded your audio, but you're not going to get it while you're recording or when you turn on the record button. So that will be fixed hopefully pretty soon. Now once you go to your edit, it shows up right into your timeline. And pretty easy. So now it just goes right into your timeline and you can do all your edits and everything you need there. All right, well, that's a quick how to get audio or voiceover done inside of DaVinci Resolve 14 Beta 5.